The Kambula Pride is the biggest lion pride in Sabi Sand. Of all the lion prides, they had the brightest future ahead of them, that was until March this year. Since then, two adults and two sub adults are gone, and two more lioness are missing, presumed dead. In this video, I put a timeline on the events and summarize what we know so far and what has been said by rangers and the local authorities. The Kambula pride comes from a great lineage. The grandfathers of the older Kambula lionesses were the famous Mapoho, Mr. T and Kinky Tail, and they were sired by the Majingilani. Their mother split it from the Tsalala pride when the Majingilane took over and they were later named the Mangeni pride. The original Kambula lionesses were born in 2013 in the newly formed Mangeni pride and reached independence in 2016. When the three brothers of the Kambula lionesses started their nomadic journey, their sisters went with them. It didn't take long until the six young lionesses became the center of attention. Around that time they had been also given their own pride name. Rangers of Londolosi called them Nsevu and Malamala called them Kambula. The first coalition who wanted to be their pride males were the Matimbas. However, their hold on the Kambula lionesses didn't last long and they were soon replaced by the Matsipiri males. And only six months later, they also faced strong competition in form of the two young southern Evoca males. But that was hardly the end of it. After two months of back and forth between the Matsipiri males and the southern Evoca males, their fathers, the three Majingilane, entered the game. Even though they were already past their prime, they had the numerical advantage. Despite their advanced age, they were still in tip-top shape and they had experience on their side. But the males who would eventually win them over were not their fathers. It was a young coalition from the north called the Birmingham Males. They would go after any cup the previous coalitions had sired. After losing many litters over the course of almost two years, the Kambula lionesses finally gave birth to four litters in 2018. However, one of their fathers was gone before they were even born. Despite the loss of Mfumo, the coalition went still strong. In 2019, another litter was born, which boosted the number of cubs up to 16. Twelve of these cubs would reach adulthood and, with six females amongst them, a mega pride was in the making with twelve adult lionesses. The biggest lion prides in Sabi Sand, over round about 25 years, reached a number of nine lionesses. But having twelve consisting of only two generations is really something special. But their survival was not always a sure thing. In October 2020, Nsuku died, leaving two Birmingham males, Tinio and Nena, behind to defend the territory. But they were determined to make sure that their cubs would reach adulthood. They held on to their territory for another year and they even sired another generation of cubs. The litters born in 2020 died of mange, and the litters born in 2021 faced another danger of being killed by intruding males. Only one day after this footage had been taken, the northern Evoca males killed two of these cubs. The dispute between the northern Evoca males and the Birminghams lured other males in, the four Nzenga. They swept in and swiftly put the northern Evocas in their place. And when Tinio disappeared by the end of 2021, the Kambula pride was there for the taking. Nena, who was the last man standing, couldn't defend his territory any longer. There was no point in putting up a fight with four younger and stronger males. And so he moved west, leaving his territory to the younger rivals. 
They literally hit the jackpot with 12 potential lionesses to mate with. But it wasn't that easy, was it? The youngest lioness, who was a full year younger than the other subadult females, preferred to stay away and went nomadic with her brothers. In November last year, she eventually went back to the Pride and tried to reunite with them, but it didn't go as planned. Up until now, she didn't make another attempt and is still roaming Sabi Sand with her brothers. When the Nsenga males took over, the lionesses that had the small cubs went on the run. Out of 11 cubs that were born in 2021, only two females would reach their second birthday. However, nine lionesses were willing to mate with the new males. Four of them were adults and the other five being their daughters. The first Nzenga cups were born in July 2022, but these cups didn't survive. In the meantime, the two lionesses, who were named K2 and K3, who went on the run with their cubs, managed to keep some of them alive and away from the Nsenga. However, make no mistake, they were in constant danger of getting caught. When this footage had been filmed, in July 2022, three of them were still alive. When they reunited with their mother a couple of days later, the male subadult was missing and was suspected to have been killed by the injured Nzenga named Clubfoot. In November 2022, nine lionesses were seen in company of the Nzenga and some of them were heavily pregnant. Only six days later, the lioness called Kambula 4 would give birth to five male cubs. This was a once-in-a-lifetime sighting for rangers and guests of Malamala to watch. Six weeks later, rangers of Londolosi had the pleasure to watch her suckle the five hungry cubs. Despite having lost a member of the coalition, the future of the pride looked fantastic with several lionesses that had given birth and a cup count that had been estimated as high as 20 cubs. Then suddenly things went south and it all started around February 20 in Okumba. The breakaway group with the two subadult females had spent a lot of time there hiding out from the Nzenga. By doing so, they were facing another threat from the Styx Pride and the Gishima males, whose territory they were trespassing. And sadly, that would be proven true, because a couple of weeks later reports came out that a young lioness had been found dead in Okumba around February 20. On March 2nd, her mother was seen in Londolosi trying to introduce her last remaining daughter to the Nzenga males. At the time of the sighting, the viewers didn't know that her sister was already gone. A day later, on March 3rd, troubling news came out. Rangers of Malamala Mala had found a carcass of a lioness, already heavily scavenged on by hyenas. To make a positive ID was totally out of the question. When the news hit the wildlife community, no one was prepared what was coming next. The young daughter of the Kambula lioness, K2, had been found on Malamala with injuries that could have been caused by an antelope or even an elephant. This is what Malamala Game Report had stated. Sadly, no one could have known that this was just the beginning and a third report of a dead lioness in Okumba resurfaced. Obviously, one of the three lionesses must have been the subadult because the two sisters hadn't been seen together since mid-February. 
Londolosi dedicated a blog to them on March 21st, highlighting their fight for survival. However, this piece brought more confusion than closure. The author implied that it was the mother of the two subadults that had died, which turned out to be not true. Another identity mix-up in the article stated that the other adult lioness in the group was her daughter, which in fact was the Kambula lioness named K2. Despite losing her last cub in May 2022, she didn't leave the group and stayed with her sister K3 and the two subadults. However, K2 also mated with the Nzenga and she gave birth to three cubs early April. The centerpiece of the article, though, was the attempt of her mother to introduce her to one of the Nzenga males. Ranger celebrated that as a success because she didn't get attacked by the Nzenga male who was resting down the road. That sighting created hopes which turned out not to become true. Two months later, her body was also found, killed by other males. This young lioness and her sister had just turned two in February and it's very sad to see that the attempts of her mother and aunt to keep them alive turned out not to be fruitful. Back to the mistaken ID and the lioness that had been found on March 3rd on Malamala. The work had been done by the experts in the wildlife community who were able to tell them apart even from a distance. I want to give them credit for their dedication and care and they eventually came up with the name of a lioness that had not been seen after the reports came out. It was the lioness named K4 who had given rangers and guests of Malamala the joy to watch her give birth to the first of five boys. Suffice it to say, her boys didn't make it either. The heartbreaking ending of the story is though that the two lionesses and the two subadults are not the only ones that are gone. Those folks who watch them closely on a daily basis also figured out that two more lionesses are absent for some time now. It's another adult named K1 and the young adult daughter of K3 who haven't been seen in months. The losses rip big holes into the family tree and I guess we'll never know what happened to them. I just hope that the losses will stop here. Anyways, I want to end this video on a positive note, with all the members that are still alive and well and had come together to share a buffalo kill. With seven lionesses and twelve cubs, they are the queens of central Sabi Sand. <laughs>